Why are you painted black? Disguise. You, you know the cork out of a bottle? They used to burn that in a candle flame and then rub the black of that against their face. But we use stage paint. It's hiding from the spirits as well, so that the gods and the spirits can't see them yeah. or don't recognise them. In, in all Africa, they paint themselves white. That's right. It all comes from different ceremonies where people want to just disguise themselves yes. so they're not recognised either to other people. Oh. Whereas Black Pete is more of a... Is it a children's...? They like right. it very yeah. much. Yeah. But is he a figure for children it's a or for a adults? Fairy tale. No, it's also for adults. It's, it's, it's a family affair. They are a little bit frightened. Yes. And they have to overcome their fright. Right. Yeah. We often find young children are scared. Yeah. In Holland, they call it racism. We have the same problem. So in we England. have even with yeah, this, this year, film uh, this, year, this year in particular. It's been a impossible big to broadcast. As serious well, as that. In, in the 1990s, <laughs> we, we were dancing at the side of the on road, a television program. And the character looked out of the uh, car window in the plot, stopped the car, which was necessary for the storyline. But a couple of years later, the same producer came back and said, the BBC would like to use us in another film as extras. And we said, fine. And then he came back and he said, you still got black faces? And we said, yeah. And he said, my bosses would rather you didn't. And we said, we don't take our black off. We are, this, 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 is, this is what we are. And, um, you know, we're not going to take our rags off or our black off. We're not going to put a different hat on just to suit you. So they didn't use us again. Yeah. So now it's, it's very rare to see it portrayed on the television. And luckily, he's the Minister of Culture. Um, yes. And he's, yes, he, um, he himself is of Asian, I think, extraction. Yeah, he's Asian, yeah. So he's got a coloured skin himself. And he has gone on the record to say, this is not racist. So now we feel um, that if anybody was to accuse us of racism, we've actually got our Minister of Culture who has said, you're not racist. And, uh, because we know we're not. I mean, there's no way that we think we're racist. In the last week, one of the Stroud newspapers published that this event would be on and they had invited a poll from all their readership and over 75 percent of the people who responded said they should carry on they're not racist but it's education we need to be able to explain to people what we're doing and why we're doing it because if it's not explained then people will draw their own conclusions if you just ban something that that is yeah. perceived to be racist that's not solving the problem you need to educate people as to why it's not racist or why it's believed to be, you know, you mean mm. that, that that helps more than just sort of slapping a, a blanket ban on things. Yeah, it doesn't, that's, that's right. not solving yeah. the problem. That's sticking a band-aid on a, on, a, on a wound. It's, it's not solving anything. So, right, in my humble opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's generally a very small but very loud minority of people yes, yes. who act as if they speak for everybody. Um, they don't speak for everybody but they will not shut up and they just go on and on and on and if you're a politician sometimes you just want a quiet life I think and, and you don't want to be seen as being controversial so they take the easy option which is to back away but if as a society we allow ourselves to be backed away from every controversy we're actually being driven by a minority and I think well I feel very strongly myself that we should stand up to minorities and say you may have a view, it might even be valid, but a debate is fine if, yeah. it's, a, if it's a two sided debate and everybody can understand what's going on. So I personally welcome the discussion that has arisen from the um, bad publicity because it's now been <coughs> publicised in newspapers and on our television that we exist. Because prior to this, a lot of people didn't even know that this sort of existed. Because I think it's very easy to slap a headline on it, a soundbite, yeah. um, a clickbait title. These people are racist. There you go. No, actually, no, you need to read yeah. the explanation. Absolutely. And that then allows people to explain what the history yeah. of this is, that there is a history. I have had white people come up to me and tell me I am racist. Occasionally, throughout that entire 25 years. I think it, yeah, it's very I have only ever had a black or a coloured person come up to me and ask the question, why are you like this? They never say you're being racist, you're offending me. They say, why? And then we can have a debate. So this is a one-to-one -one discussion I'm having with somebody. So then I explain why I'm doing it. And without exception, 
they have gone away. The coloured people have said, oh fine, I didn't know, I was suspicious, I wanted to know, but now I know I don't have a problem. And I think that's brilliant. Think that's brilliant. We once danced at dawn outside a hotel and we were disturbing guests in the hotel. So I went um, to the manager and said, look, we want to dance at dawn, it's our custom, but we realise you've got residents. And he was struggling to understand what was going on. But when I said to him, it's our heritage, it's our tradition, he, he was Malaysian. His words to me were, oh, I didn't know English people had a heritage. We, we Malaysians understand culture and heritage. I am going to not use those rooms in the hotel. We'll put our guests the other side of the hotel. I said, oh, I wasn't asking you to go that far. But he said, no, no, heritage is something to be valued and treasured. Every culture has its traditions and its heritage, where it came from. I mean, the Dutch culture is, is surely every bit as old as the English culture. I value English culture. I would have thought, why would Dutch people not want to know about their heritage? No. And what makes them what they are today is partly what their ancestors did and how their ancestors behaved in the past. And it's valuable. And it gives part of your own sort of... Um, national identity. I mean, I, I've, I've been to, to the Netherlands and it's beautiful and, and the history that, you, that your country has. Um, a culture and a country is cohesive because people feel they have something in common. Um, and and that, that includes people who've, who've moved into the country in, in more recent years. There's a, a lady that dances with a Morriside in Stroud and herself, she is coloured. Black. I, I never know which is the right politically correct term, coloured or Person black. Of it changes, but you know what I mean. But so, so she is clearly not of an, a long Anglo-Saxon ethnicity, but she is living today in Great Britain and identifies with Great Britain and wants to take part in customs and that, that binds her into the community and then there's a strength in the community feeling we are together, we share some value systems and I think that's part of what we need to be doing. Thank you. 